Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy A Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the Explosive One. Jonas, you're the man on the stage. I've been thinking... And we are playing Madden 21. We are. One more again. I've been thinking that by saying that I'm a sticky boy when I play the game, I might be uh, innuating something else. Innuating? <laughs> let's just, let's, let's not... We're not going to look past the fact that you said in, innuating. I'm making up words. I mean, yes. That is if that is what innuating means, then yes, you are making up words when you say you are, are a sticky boy. Yeah, dude. I, I mean, I guess, I guess they're both true. Yes. So, yes, that is very true. Yeah, dude. Did you like pixie sticks as a kid, dude? Uh, yes. Did you ever snort them? No. <laughs> is that some white people? <laughs> 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 yes! If you know people who are out here snorting pixie sticks, for my, my dude, then yes. <laughs> so you're, like, you're like, none of my black friends were snorting. No, pixie we were sticks. not on that crap. So, yes. <laughs> That's so if you knew a bunch of people, you tell me. I mean, just making that, <laughs> that correlation in your head. Makes me feel like, yes, it definitely is. I may have, may have experienced that before. Oh, my God. <laughs> dude, I, white folks try to get high, dude. They don't waste What, 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 what the fuck? What? <laughs> no. Oh, pixie sticks, my dude. <laughs> no, it's fine. I like Never that. Oh, dude. Never know. It'll get your melon going, dude. Look, I, I'm not trying to shame you 100%. I like the fact that you're being open on this forum, but kids, that was... don't snort pixie six. This is completely a facetious conversation. I don't even okay? know if you kids need to be told that, but maybe. Maybe. I mean, they could be free based on for all we know. No. I've never... No. The weirdest thing, I've, I've talked about me smoking Q-tips before, all right? No, I don't think you have, <laughs> I 100% Oh, have. I'm glad I double-tapped the button and it threw an interception. It's going to run back for a touchdown. I have 100% talked about me smoking Q-tips, all right? Wow, that was a, the worst play I've ever done. Anyways. But, I, you know, kids do some weird-ish, you know? <laughs> but I definitely, we had, like, the Q-tips with, like, they were hollow plastic tubes. Oh. I think yeah, the cheapy boys, not the not yeah. like authentic users. So I remember like taking the cotton off of one end and then like smoking the other side of it with my friend. You high? And we thought we were cool because we, <laughs> we were smoking. Yeah, dude. Tips, yeah, boys. Dude. You're like Jim Carrey in the mask, smoking. <laughs> Yeah, dude, kids do dumb stuff, man. Snorting pixie sticks is a whole new level, though. That's yeah. like that's like a gateway. <laughs> You're all like, you know, officer. As a young boy, I used to snort pixie sticks. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to open the door to just being comfortable with snorting anything. Yeah, dude. I don't know if I, if I, if I've snorted anything ever in my life. Okay, well, you know what, Jonas? Speaking of snorting, because I already know where this conversation is going to go with uh, you. You ever snort when you laugh? That's fun. No, I was thinking, like, just today, just a little bit ago, I blew my nose. Okay. And I was like, you know what? I don't think I've blown my nose as an adult. Like, even a quarter is as many times as I blew my nose as a kid. Oh, yeah. I mean, I blow my nose when I'm sick. Well, and no. then sometimes, like, when you have, like, a chunky booger in there, dude, it's easier just to, like, blow it out. A chunky booger? Like, you reach in to, like, pick it, and it's, like, a big, hard crust nugget, dude. I don't know what we're talking No. I just, like, I just pick it out, dude. I mean, not pick go, it you out. You go into the tissue, and it, like, it. it's easier oh. to blow it out than to pick it sometimes. Because sometimes when you try to pick it, it pushes it deeper. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I mean, I guess. I got big, fat sausage fingers, bro. Like, uh, I get my I finger in there, dude. I just can like... just get, like, a tissue and use my pinky and just kind of, like, get, clean it out. Hey, pinky boy it? Do you ever get, like, do you ever, like, get, like, you know, up in the nostril? Like, that top, like, the <laughs> like the chandelier part of the it? The chandelier of the nostril? Like, the Sistine, the Sistine Chapel area? You ever blow your nose and make it start bleeding? No. You blew too Jesus. hard? Jesus, what? Jonas, what the hell are you doing to your nose, man? Comes from snorting pixie sticks. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> all that, all that sugar cane, all up in my dome, dome nose. 
Um, yeah, dude. No, um, I've never, I've never crusted the chandelier though, dude. I no, just, you, you might want to get in there. I'm just saying. It's like spring cleaning. Yeah, because like I was just like I was, I was cleaning the Sistine Chapel right. when I was blowing my nose, and then I was like, I'm looking, and I'm like, oh. There's some some dust accumulation in that area oh, yeah, that I didn't even know. It, whoa, dude! It was it was some scary looking stuff that was you know happening. You could feel it in the back of your eyes when you pulled it out of your head because it was so long and stringy. No, Jesus, man! No, it was it was really like just like old dried dust accumulation. It was, it was like drywall from an apartment you lived at. Yeah, like, dude, it was not it was not a pretty sight. It was almost like whoa. I can tell nobody's cleaned up here for a while. <laughs> this is probably from months that, ago. But, you know, I'll take your word for it. I'm just saying, it's like, if you get a tissue, try to get, like, that Sistine Chapel. Kids, clean your Sistine out. Oh, uh, you got to assist the system. Yeah, I mean, like, the roof. The roof of the nasal cavity. It's dude. on fire. <laughs> we don't need no water, though. <laughs> Uh, it probably do hydrate. Burn. You probably do need water. Make sure you hydrate. Oh, he fumbled. <laughs> what a cuck, dude. And if it burns when you blow your nose, you should probably lay off the pixie sticks. Yeah, dude, you should get some antibiotics. Yeah, tell your mom. Tell my mom. I can't believe it, dude. I can't believe what's happening in this life. What? We're sucking, dude. Uh, yeah, you know they did have a, a update for this game recently. Really, it probably makes me suck now. Yeah, it probably made it so that it's actually like hard it was to play. The Jonas sucks now button. Oh yeah, because it looks like you're gonna lose again, and that's gonna lose ish, dude. And that would be funny. It would be. I, <laughs> won, I won the last one by one point, so we didn't we didn't have a losing streak. Uh, we can be on our way to a winning streak if we do it now. No. You can't lose two and then win two and call that a winning streak. You win three, dude. On our way to a winning streak. <laughs> On our way to a winning. Uh, what was that? I can't remember what I was. I was having this internal dialogue the other day. Because I have a lot of those. On whether you need to come out of the closet or not, or what? No. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> come out of the closet. The only time you're going to catch me coming out of the closet if I get need a new pair of jeans, all right? <laughs> Yeah, what were you thinking about, man? Or or a shirt? I can't I can't remember what it was about, Jones. It was something about you like just, I was using my brain. I was thinking. Yeah, dude, I made like this great analogy for something. It was cool. It was like, yeah, if you if you need to uh, go to the store, where do you get your toilet paper from? It was like, oh, you get your toilet paper from the grocery store. So if you need to get toilet paper, that's where you go. And then it was like, but if you get down to that last piece of toilet paper, you need to go to the grocery store right then. I don't know. Dude, it was good. Like, that sounded amazing. I mean, why don't you tell me a little more about that? <laughs> it was like if you get low on toilet paper, you're like, hey, I should probably go to the store. But if you get down to your last ply of toilet paper, you got to get to the grocery store and get that toilet paper. Yeah. And that was a metaphor for life. It was a metaphor for something. It was a great metaphor. I'm laughing really hard. No, I'm not looking for laughter. I'm oh, looking it's like for you want me to relation. I'm looking for profound, like dang dynamite. That's dang, a, dude, that's deep, bro. Yeah, man, that's a, that's that's ancillary for so many My different things. Change because of that. Yeah, because like if you need to go get toilet paper, you, you gotta, gotta go to, get it, dude. Exactly. Oh my God! It's a metaphor for humanity. If you need it, you get it, dude. That's it, dude. It's like yeah. love. Yeah. Because you need it in the house. But you're always thinking about it. You always have to refill your toilet paper coffers. If you need someone to be your everything, you just go find your everything. Because think of a life without toilet paper. Think of a life without your everything. Think about a life. Think about having a life. I don't know what that is. Think about it. Think about what your life was like six months ago. <laughs> I don't know. Basically the same thing. Oh, Zing. Nothing's changed for me, Jones. I'm dude, not. I'm, a, I'm unaffected, dude. Me. I'm unaffected. I but know. I'm taking it really well. No, you are not. Are you that, is, that, that is a hundred percent. Are you saying that I'm in a bad spot? Dude? I'm. I'm saying that if uh, I can only judge you by what I what I experience in my own life, so I, I'm cool. But I'm. I don't know. If I don't think I don't feel like everybody else is cool. I don't think everybody. I think I'm doing a lot better than you're, I thought I would. You're doing you're doing all right, but 
Like, there's there's some days that I'm like, no, I uh, yeah, I know. I mean, why wouldn't there be? (laughs) Oh, look at this boy. He just oh, he just boyed the boys in the boy zone, dude. I don't know what that means. He won. Yeah, dude. I think there's a lot of people out there that have problems, dude. Man, and the problems are based on problems. Yeah, at least they're not snorting pixie sticks. Right, dude. I mean, you got to do the pixie fairy dance. The only way you can, the only way you can see the pixie fairies is if you snort pixie sticks. Is this what we're doing? <laughs> you keep bringing it up, dude. You do the callback. No, it's but I'm not young. You can you can counter it with like substance. Nope. <laughs> I counter you know your. Me, dude. I counter your nonsense with substance constantly. I don't. You will spin. say something that makes absolutely no sense, and I'll say something that is like profound. I don't. And I'm fine with that. I, I make all the sense. No. See, right there. <laughs> now I have to say something profound. <laughs> that was case in point. <laughs> Case in point. Dude, they love it. They love my nonsensical sequiturs. <laughs> this is when you turn into Michelangelo and I have to be Donatello. <laughs> this is when it happens. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's what it's like when we have a Roni, dude. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, well, they should stop snorting pixie sticks. Quick little. <laughs> and then you'll be like, yeah, hey, dude. Then just go further off the rails if nobody brings it back in. One I of will us, take things. This I far. refuse to get off the rails that deep. I'm not going off the rails. All I'm right, staying dude. on the rails. Yeah, dude, you're like one of those um, cars that yeah. drives on the tracks that never comes off. Like the furthest off the rails is I'm gonna get is like those guys who drive a car on like just the two wheels on the left. Which that is. Oh yeah, dude. Like you tip the one side, dude. That is just scary. Dude. I wish I could do that. You don't see that as much as you used to, honestly. No, dude, it's dangerous. People I don't mean, like danger anymore. Yeah, it's definitely dangerous, but it is amazing to see a person balance a car on two wheels. It's hard to get the car up on two wheels. Yeah, they always have to have like one of those little ramps that they have to take it off of. Yeah, dude, like a little skateboard ramp that's like meant for a skateboard. And they're like, oh, dude, why do you have that by your car? And they're like, watch this. And he's like, oh, ish, I can't believe that that happened right now. Right. If you think about it, you used to see that a lot more often uh, in movies and stuff back back in the day. Maybe all the people who used to be able to do it died and no one taught their Mexican. <laughs> I mean, that's a possibility. Like a lost art. They're it's just very like, nope. sad, though, when you think about it. It's like an endangered species, stuntmen who can right? drive things on one wheel. I imagine because it takes, like, like, <laughs> like the learning process for it is kind of expensive. And it's also dangerous. Yeah, but it, you I mean, know. you could like, you could be like yeah, dude, guess what I'm gonna do today? I'm gonna learn to drive on two wheels, and then you kill him. Yeah, well, I don't know if you're gonna kill anybody. What if you lose control, dude? You flip your car, or kill yourself. I mean, I think Rip that Walker, I think dude. that flipping the car is kind of uh, inherent with learning it. So, do they use fake cars? It's like falling off a bike is inherent with learning how to ride a bike. Yeah, like, I wonder where the stuntman school teaches you, because you're going to have to have, like, a trash car to drive, because you're going to, like, skid it out, dude, and, like, you got to wear, like, Exactly. A well, yeah, I mean, you probably have a seatbelt, roll cage, everything. They, they probably, like I, like, I figure if you're learning how to do something of that nature, you're taking all the precautions. Like, if I was learning to ride a, uh, a skateboard, I'm going to be wearing knee pads and a helmet, you know? At least cut, cut your losses on trying to prevent damage to yourself. Right, right. At least during the training phase. Yeah. yeah. So, I was thinking about that. Like, you never see that in movies or anything anymore. And I feel like the one-liners have kind of have kind of died off in movies. Take my wife, please. It used to be like they're here, and that used to be like some scary. You remember that in that movie, Jonas? Boy, that was oh scary, God. dude. Why are they here? I just thought I let him told him to go home. Or here's Johnny. Oh, dude, Johnny's here. Ah, oh, dude, like. Whoa. <laughs> Matrix. I don't know. I just feel like the one-liners have kind of gone I'll away. I'll be back. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 90s was big on that crap. I don't 90s know what that is. big on a lot of trash things. <laughs> Swing. Yeah, dude. Cha-ching. The old rallies <laughs> commercial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was Seth uh, Rogan. Green. Close enough. <laughs> yeah, dude. McFarland. Yeah, dude. It was Grandma Tarkin. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, look at him coming up from behind, dude. Grandma's barking. Dude, have you ever had a grandmother bark? Your grandmother barks at you to come in the house. <laughs> like, dag nabbit, Jonas, it's time for cheeseburgers again. Get in the house. No, Grandma, I don't want cheeseburgers. I'm just going to keep going off the rails with you to see if you ever bring it back <laughs> in. <laughs> I know! I know! I would never bring it back. I know! I can no. talk about nonsense. For I, an, I'm incapable of doing for that. For an indefinite amount no, of time. No, Jonas. My self-respect will not let me use my platform to just spit word vomit. All right? Yeah, vomit, dude. <laughs> it is word diarrhea. Important conversation. No. It is the gastric intestinal linings of word. The lowest form of word lowest has form. no thought behind it. No salt, dude. It's deep. <laughs> what the frick is happening? <laughs> Off the rails, dude. Why it's railing, this? dude. Why did you pin your own partner? I team? don't know, dude. I don't get it. <laughs> the stuff in this game isn't always the best, dude. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Daisy Fuentes, dollar cap. <laughs> Yeah, dude, you remember when Daisy was on the, the dollar cap? Dude? She was like, she, she could have been on the two dollar cap, but she wasn't good enough. <laughs> Nag nabbit jungle bunny creepers. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, that's a racist term, I think. <laughs> just say, did you just say what? I Shut up. <laughs> all right, we it's won, dude. Like, We're almost on our way to a winning streak. That is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. He does Twitch. TNT Dynamite on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. Yeah. Uh, make him go viral for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We are out there.